In this episode, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your springers. So, in today's how to, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade this tri strike or any other springer blaster that you have. So, whether it be a recon, retaliator, rampage, tri strike, long shot, long strike, pretty much any springer blaster you can think of, this tutorial is going to help you upgrade it. So, let's get straight into the video. To maximize the power, the essential upgrade is a spring replacement for the blaster. I'm installing a 6kg nerf turf spring. Make sure you get the right spring for the blaster you're upgrading. As always, crack open your screwdriver set. Grab a hammer to knock out the air restrictor, or you can use a drill like me. Tape to fill in the air hole, and the blaster you're modifying. If you have a bolt action blaster like the Tri-Strike, Use the claw on your hammer to pry off the bolt. Now unscrew the blaster and open it up. Let's get familiar with our internals. All glit fed springers are pretty much the same, with the only difference being some parts are longer and different sizes compared to other blasters. So the common parts are the bolt sled, dart tube, plunger tube, plunger head, catch plate, spring, spring retaining plate, and your trigger. Familiarize yourself with your blaster's internals. Let's deconstruct our blaster. Let's start by removing some locks. Take out the white plates so you can freely pull the trigger. The other cluster is the slam fire mechanism. I'm removing mine so I don't have the horrible ratcheting sound and for a smoother operation. The last common lock is the bolt slid lock. It prevents you from sliding the bolt back once primed, but for freedom, let's remove it. For the tri strike, I had to dremel it away. Most blasters have two screws under the bolt sled. Unscrew them and remove the lock. Ah, much better. Now, let's get a bit more flow. Start by removing the air restrictor. Bash it out with a hammer and screwdriver, or drill it out. If your dart tube has an air release hole like mine, use some tape and wrap it around. If you would like to replace your O-rings, do that now. Unfortunately for me, I didn't have one that fit the tri-strike. But if you were to do this, this is how. Remove the old one with a small flathead screwdriver and simply slip over the new one. Now let's reassemble our blaster. Start with our full plunger assembly. Then our catch. Let's install our new spring. Simply slide it in. Now the spring retaining plate. When putting this tri strike back together, make sure you hold this piece in or the shells will not align correctly. Put on your shell, screw it down, and we're all done. So as you can see from the firing test, this thing is shooting much better than it was. Uh, no jams at all once it's been modified and it is shooting really hard. So I pretty much made this thing just for a loner blaster. If someone's not really performing on the day and they're having trouble or they're struggling trying to do something, they can pick this one up or I can just give them out to them and be like, hey man, here's a tri-strike 
and it's gonna perform all right. Spring arm, very easy to grasp, pull back, push forward, pull the trigger. It's not a flywheel or anything like that. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you in modifying your Springer Blaster. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that social media stuff uh, in the description if you wanna follow up uh, with me when I'm not making videos. I've got my links to my Facebook and Instagram. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.